the innovative programs for the visually impaired at the Chicago Lighthouse. This morning we're talking about something new that has people excited too. And Eyewitness News anchor Jose Sanders gives us a peek. It's been a while since I've seen our friends at the Lighthouse as enthusiastic about a new product. But this is something that makes reading a lot easier for people who have trouble seeing or just can't see at all. And they are calling this a real game changer. Tom Persky is Senior Vice President for Rehabilitation at the Chicago Lighthouse. He is visually impaired. When he was in college, in order to read books, he used a scanner similar to this one, but much more primitive. I needed the, the print two inches high on a video screen. And of course, the higher you made the, the magnification, not all fit on the screen. So it was very slow and tedious. So instead of low vision, I used to call it slow vision. And that's why the folks at the Lighthouse are elated to be one of the first facilities in the country to try this device from Israel. It's called the Orcan, and it helps blind or visually impaired people to read in a whole new way. It uses a tiny camera mounted onto a pair of glasses and a very small computer. You simply point to what you want to read. The Orcan will take a picture of that section of the text send it to the processor, well, which will then make it into words, and then the words will speak it out loud back to the processor all within a few seconds. This is what it sounds like as Luke reads a newspaper. Participants were lower than rates among regular bicyclists. They truly believe this could be revolutionary, not only for people reading books, but imagine how it could help with restaurant menus and playbills at the theater. A whole new cultural world he opened up to the visually impaired. You can actually point to, uh, let's say, like a small screen on, on the, uh, at the Art Institute, and you can't read the plaque on the wall. You just simply, from uh, one or two feet away, point to the plaque that you wanted to read, and it'll read something like a bulletin board or a plaque also. Oh, and one other feature of this new device, facial recognition. It tells you that there's a person standing in front of you. If it's the first time you've met, you simply push a button and say that person's name. And then from then on, the camera has now and the computer has recognized you, memorized who you are, and then it allows you to, uh, every time you turn your head and look at that person, it will tell you their name. Jose. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. Now this is all very new technology and the device costs between $25 and $3,500 a piece depending upon the model. But it is available now at the Chicago Lighthouse and they will let you try the OrCam out for free. I'm Jose Sanders, ABC7 Eyewitness News.